Hello, my name is Ben and on this YouTube channel I document my own print-on-demand journey. Yesterday I downloaded this gaming and gamer t-shirt design bundle from Creative Fabrica. And it included 50 designs with a full POD license, so theoretically I could put them just straight onto, um, well, onto Redbubble, right? My way of doing it was I wanted to upload them actually into Canva. But the problem was this file, well, it's a zip file that you download and it comes with like 50 subfolders. And in the, each of these subfolders, you get an EPS file, PSD, SVG and PNG file. Now for Canva, I only wanted the PNG file. But what I had to do, because I didn't know any better yesterday, I had to go into each subfolder, you know, extract the PNG file manually. And then, you know, it took a long time, basically. So I'll show you a more efficient way of doing it um, using a software called um, Total Commander, and it just it's just you know it just makes the whole process more efficient and saves me, well, you could say hours, you know, definitely hours per week. So I just want to show you how you can do that more efficiently. If you regularly download these bundles, for example, if you have a Creative Fabrica subscription, or if you you know sometimes on Facebook you get these bundles and you know you can buy them. So it's just a more efficient way of managing it. So let's say I download this now. I'm now in my download folder. The specific t-shirt bundle I was talking about is this one. So normally I would have just, you know, taken them all, all of these subfolders here and copied them, you know, just into the download folder. And then after doing that, I would have, you know, yesterday I went into each of the subfolders and basically copied and pasted the PNG file into a different folder. And the problem was that in each subfolder, each of the files is called the same. So it's, they always call it like design. So I had to rename them manually from design to design one, design two, design three, because otherwise they would have just overwritten themselves, you know, in the same folder. So it took a long time to be honest. Now I'll show you an efficient way of doing it. Um, I will now do this in the future using a software called Total Commander which I currently haven't registered yet, but I will do. I think it's a shareware. I think it's, um, you have to buy it. There might be another free, free um, software out there, but let me show you first what this software can do. And it's specifically useful for print on demand or for anyone who's, you know, regularly downloading files or bundles of designs. So basically I go into my download folder and then I'll find this gaming and gamer t-shirt design bundle. Now with all these subfolders here, so instead of instead of really extracting them all manually, what I can do, I just basically go here. It is called um, show all files in current directory and all subdirectories. So what it does, it shows me all the files which are in these subfolders in here. So I can see there's a lots of design in Internet Explorer, SVG files, um, then lots of PSD files, lots of PNG files, Lots of EPS files. So I'm only interested in the PNG files, right? So they are all called the same name. So that might create a problem if I do it the traditional way. But what I can do, I can select them all, right? Create a yeah separate subfolder somewhere. I just call it one. So what I'll do, I will copy all of these files into this subfolder. And we copy them all in. Now, what it has done now, it will have copied all those subfolders, but just with a PNG file. Now, there might be a way where it actually doesn't do it with the with the subfolders, but that's not a major problem for me at the moment because what I can do now, I'll basically go into this folder now. So that's the subfolder I created um, with all the subfolders again, and then I'll create a second subfolder which I just call it two at the moment. And I will again just show all these files. But as you can see now, it hasn't extracted the SVG files. It hasn't extracted the EPS files. It has only extracted the PNG files, which I want. So now from all these subfolders, what I do, I'll copy them again and move them over into the second folder I've created. Now, the problem that I had yesterday then was that they all have the same name. So what I do is basically I go ahead, just copy them and Total Commander will rename them automatically. So what I will say is auto rename copied files. And it will just copy all of these files into the folder. So 
you know, yesterday, that took me over half an hour, copy pasting them from all the subfolders, you know, picking only the PNG file. But what, I, what I've done now, I've, in the first step, I've extracted only the PNG files from like 50 folders. Whereas yesterday I had, you know, when I unpacked them, I had in each subfolder, I had the PNG file, I had the EPS file, I had the, um, what else was there? PNG, EPS, SVG file. So I had three or four different file types in each subfolder. And then from each subfolder, I had to manually copy only the PNG file into another folder. Yeah, because I only wanted the PNG file. So, and I also had to rename them manually. So what I've done now, basically in just a few minutes, I've extracted only the PNG files into subfolders. And then from these subfolders, I've extracted, oh, I've copied all the PNG files into one folder and renamed them at the same time. And from here, what I can do now, and I go into the, um, then maybe leave total commander and I'll just go into this folder here now. As you can see, I've got all these designs here now. So what I can do now, I can decide, you know, do I want to change them? Or because I've subscribed to Creative Fabrica, I could just upload them as they are to Redbubble. But the problem is that they all have different sizes for some reason. So it's a bit, you know, it's not great that they all have different sizes. Ideally, you know, I would want designs which have a size of 4,500 4, by 5,400. But what I can do now is mass resize them in a resizing tool, or I can go into Canva, copy them into a different design, or just into a, um, yeah, basically onto a Canva with that size 4,500 by 5,400, and then download it again with a transparent background, and then I can upload them, or I can change them, you know. But at least this sort of saved me now like 45 minutes or so, and it's amazing. So it definitely is worth buying Total Commander. I think I saw it costs like $39. Maybe I'm wrong, but I will definitely do that because it saves so much time. So that's just a quick tip I wanted to give you. Um, if you have the same problem, chances are if you download t-shirt bundles, you'll have the same problem. The same applies, obviously, if you download EPS files or if you just want the EPS file or just the SVG file and you just want to extract that one. Um, Total Commander is a definitely a useful software. I didn't actually know that when this one existed but it's so useful, you know, so for example, with Windows, with the standard um, unzip, um, the, the WinZip, you, you can only, at the same time, you can't, ex you, you can't extract multiple files at once as well. So you would have to use another um, software or you can just use Total Commander. So that's useful. And um, that's all I wanted to talk about. Yeah, so hopefully that was useful. If you liked it, then please smash the like button. And if you want to follow me, on my print on demand journey, then please subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.